Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeNationPlus.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install a garage door opener. So the first thing I've done is attach a length of angle steel across the top and along the upper um, section of the garage door to act as reinforcement steel and to allow the garage door opener to pull on the reinforcement steel versus the garage door itself. This will protect the garage door from getting damaged. So now I've just mounted the head of bracket above the garage door. Um, basically you want to position it such that it's actually in a header or in a wall stud of some sort. You don't want to just try to put it into the sheetrock. It's got to be um, screwed into uh, something of uh, significant um, strength. Um, the position of this is positioned so it's approximately two inches above the highest height of the door as it's opened up. So now I've attached all the rail sections together and I've attached them to the uh, motor assembly on the garage door opener. So now I've assembled the chain uh, per the manufacturer's directions, basically so the chain is tight, such that it's about a quarter inch above the base of the rail system, the lowest point. Uh, now we're at the point where we can actually mount the far end of the uh, garage door opener to the header bracket on the wall. Now I've attached the far end of the rail system up to the header bracket and put a cleavage pin in and then a ring fastener on the end of the cleaver pin to make sure that this uh, rail system will stay in place on, on the uh, wall. So what I've done is attached angle brackets to the uh, ceiling joist and then attached more angle brackets from the uh, ceiling joist brackets down to the motor assembly. And this thing is very rigid and sturdy. You absolutely want to make sure that you hit uh, the, the floor joist or the ceiling joist. You, otherwise, this thing will just come, come crashing down. Okay, so now I've attached the garage door arm to the trolley system and then to the vertical reinforcement bracket on the garage door itself. We've also attached the safety rope to disengage the trolley from the uh, chain system on the garage door opener. Okay, so now I've attached the optical sensors to the base of the garage door on either side and I've made sure that the optical sensors are lined up with each other uh, so that they'll work properly. And I've taken the uh, wires and run up the side of the, uh, of the door uh, with some staples I've tacked them in and I've brought them over to the uh, garage door opener itself. I've also attached the door control to the side of the uh, garage door. I've got about at least five feet off the ground. You want to get it at a level where the kids can actually uh, push the button inadvertently and basically run the wire from this again back to the uh, garage door opener motor. Now all I'm doing is installing the uh, keyless remote control entry, just tightening up the screws. Okay, so now I've taken all the wires and I've attached them per the directions into the uh, garage door opener motor itself and all I need to do now is plug in the uh, garage door opener. And we'll make a few minor adjustments on the door opening and closing and this project will be done. Okay, so we've adjusted the door so it opens and closes properly and we've also adjusted it to make sure that it will release uh, tension and pull back up in the event um, a child or any type of other object gets um, stuck underneath it. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.